Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Today I'm using Onshape to create a diamond uh, object. So here is a sample model. It's a round cut diamond. Okay, so let's get started. And I have here is a picture of diamond cut proportion for my drawing. So I'm gonna follow this to create my diamond. Let's get started. I'll go create a new document. So my documents, I'll be using millimeters today. So I'll start by creating a circle. I create a sketch, click on the top plane, draw my circle, type in 100. Okay, so I'll go accept. And I'll go extrude, I'll extrude, I'll select my circle, extrude 60 mil and I'll extrude down so my 100mm my is the large circle 60 is the height of the diamond and I'm going to accept okay next step I will create the top um, top shape so I'll go sketch, edit, and I'll right click, switch normal to plane, and I'll draw my circle, and it'll be 55 millimeters. Yep, that's correct. Now I'll create points, I'll create a point here, and here, and I'll select my line tool and draw my line touching the other side and draw the line again basically here I am I'll make that coincidence um, from the circle to the center I'll do the same here and I'll set the angle to be 45 45 here as well okay basically I'm creating an octagon a diamond has an octagon shape on the top let's go to line and click here let's go line One more line. All right, press escape. I'll switch this to construction. This will be construction as well. Actually, construction, construction. Okay, it looks about right. We go accept. All right, now I'll create a an axis. We need an axis. And I'll go to line, turn on construction, and put a vertical line. I'll make 140 and OK. Alright, next I'm going to create an offset plane. And this is pointing down. And this is 15.5 mil. So basically in my picture I'm creating a plane here and also one more underneath I'll accept that and I'll create another plane make it go down 2 millimeters and accept ok now I'm going to do a sketch on the right plane and I'll right click 
turn on normal to sketch and um, I'll need to go project project this line there and turn on this line or draw a line from here to here make it go down and make it touch here and I'll go to coincidence constraint I'll make this coincidence with that plane this coincidence with that plane and this coincidence with the bottom face so basically that's the middle of the diamond here and I'll go here switch this to construction and I'll make this a closed shape uh, switch so I'll switch this to back to normal okay that looks good okay we accept that now I'll go and extrude that sketch and we pick this sketch here and we make that remove material and I'll make that go symmetric so make it cut along I'll make it around 110 so that's the first cut and we are going to rotate this around eight times so go to pattern tool turn on um, click the arrow pick circular pattern we need to make sure we click on feature pattern and we're going to pattern this feature we pick axis click on the vertical axis and we make it repeat eight times and we really need, need to turn this on for this feature to work so make sure you turn this on or it will fail and we have the cut on the top half and bottom half okay let's keep going we go sketch we'll click on a sketch on this face and I'll turn on normal to sketch plane I'll put a point here and I'll go to dimension and I'll put oh no. let's undo that make sure you dimension um, part all right got it I'll make that eight make sure that's um, the dimension from here to here okay we will do leave it there and go okay and we're gonna create a plane from these three points here so we go to plane this is the plane tool click on three points where it's like this point this point and this point and accept now I'm gonna go sketch I'll click on that plane and I'm gonna turn on circles I'll right click click normal to sketch view and draw a circle here I'll make that 25 and go OK and I'm gonna extrude that and click on remove extrude and I'll turn on through all and I'll click my sketch so it's gonna remove from the plane there okay now we're gonna pattern that around so we go to pattern tool and make sure you turn on feature pattern we'll select the extrude feature click the axis uh, the axis is hidden away I'll click this one and we want that um, pattern eight times around and turn on apply per instance and apply that all right, all right. I think we're missing the axis so we go back in click axis click on this line and that's working so we cut the triangles there around all right next bit 
Okay, so now we're gonna go sketch. We're going to sketch on this plane here. And I'll turn on normal to sketch view. What we need to do is project this curve here and place a point here. So we need a point on the outer circle here. All right, so that's good. Now with that done, we're gonna create a plane from here to here and here. And we click OK. That doesn't seem to work. I'll make sure we turn on three points plane. And there you go, it works. All right, we go to sketch, click on that plane. And we're gonna go draw a circle. I'm gonna go normal to sketch plane and draw a circle here. I'll make that 35, enter, accept, and I'll go extrude. I'm gonna go remove extrude, and we'll click that circle sketch. And I'm gonna turn on through all, and it's cutting there. We'll go accept. All right, so we have a cut here, and I'll go to mirror. We want to mirror feature, mirror that cut feature with the right plane mirror plane click on this one and this cut is mirrored across there right now we're gonna pattern that around the diamond so circular pattern turn on feature pattern and we want the first cut the axis is the center axis and we go eight times and we need to make sure apply per instance and accept and it's cutting around and now we we'll do the pattern on the mirror feature click circle pattern turn on feature and we select a feature which is the mirror and click on the axis click on the middle axis turn on 8 instance and apply per instance and there you go the top parts finish and we we just quickly finish the bottom bit here we go sketch click on this face and we're in sketch mode now I'm gonna right click normal to sketch plane I'll just place a point here and I'll go to dimension I mentioned from that point to that point and I'll make that 25 so we go accept okay so we need to create a point on this plane with that so I'm gonna select this we're going to go sketch on that plane right click And I go to project to create a curve here and I'll create a point again here and I'll go accept so there you go I have a curve there and a point there for the for the lower half of the diamond so I have three points I'm going to create a plane I go to plane here click on that one that point that point and we switch to three point plane and we have created a plane there I'm going to select that I'll drag this plane to make it smaller drag the corners and press escape okay so I'm gonna go sketch on that new plane I'll go right click normal to sketch view and I'll go make a circle I can see that this is what I want to cut off so I'll draw a circle big enough I'll go escape drag that down 
So I'll put my circle there and I'll go accept and I'll go extrude. I'll select my sketch and I'll go remove material. I'll go through all and just spin my model. It's cutting the right way. And we have that cut there. So we'll need to mirror this to the left side. Mirror and then you go feature mirror. We'll select the feature which is the last extrude. We'll click the mirror plane which is the right plane. And okay, next step. So we have the two cuts here. And finally we'll just need to um, circle a pattern that around. Make sure we turn on feature pattern, click on extrude 5, click the axis. We set this to 8 and click on apply for instance and OK. And that's working and we'll go to the last feature. Feature pattern, we go, we select the mirror feature. Click on axis and make that 8 and apply instances and click that and that's it we're done i'll press p to hide all the planes i'll hide the sketch and there you go have your diamond so um i'll just give another color go here pick that pick purple and okay and there you go. Whoop. There you go, looks about right. Everything looks good. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe for more videos. Um, like and give a comment if you have any questions. But this is the proportions I used. Uh, check out my other videos. See you later. Have a good day. Bye